Hey guys, Sorka, welcome back to Persona 5 Strikers. Let's carry on where we left off. We've been unceremoniously dumped at the bottom of the abyss, and it's time we have to crawl our way back up because this checkpoint won't let us teleport. In fact, Futaba, can you give us any information on that? Hmm. Looks like this area is safe. Hmm. Let's rest up all we can. Oh, cool. So this is our way of recovering right. HP and Let's SP. Perfect, because we can't actually leave the jail. Uh, Ichinose, of course, helped send us down to the pits of the abyss. Uh, as creator of Emma, of course, she was aware of Emma's plans and she was recruited. And unfortunately, she's taken control of Sophia. We managed to save her, but now we can't even save ourselves because we're getting ambushed by bugs. Found you. Oh, okay. It's just one lonely sentry. That's fine. Nebiros. Oh, okay, there's your friends. Damn that Ichinose! I can't believe she's played us this whole time. And how she mind-controlled <laughs> Sophie? A hundred percent uncool. To think of her amusement as we struggled with each monarch. If True. If we're gonna take back everyone's desires, we have to stop her. No matter what. Well, I was watching that spider try and maneuver with amusement. So, there's that. I wouldn't quite call it even. But we can ambush it now. Alright, who's next? Get out of here. Gosh, another army. Man, you guys just won't quit. All right, three unique but ones. I guess Bugs wasn't an fighter to the party. That's one less obstacle in the way. All right, on to the next. Okay. Sorry, but my stamina is depleted. That's okay. Just in time. We got a checkpoint. We can head back to Oracle. Upper Stratum has been registered as a checkpoint. Somehow, even though it says Upper, I feel like we're like miles away from the top. Oh no, I can't, can't go, go back. can't go anywhere right now. Damn, never mind. We're not going to be resting up. I'm going to need to switch some party members around. Okay, I'll keep them for now just because they're, well, at least um, Queen is very effective against bugs. It appears we go no further until we defeat that one. Ain't that always the case? Uh, we don't have time for this. <laughs> this one's super tough. Stay on your toes, folks. All right, well, I've dealt with the super tough before. I'm sure we can handle another one of these. It's not Mara, is it? We've already faced off against that monstrosity. Oh, okay. All right, Just well, like took care of you. Didn't use any SP, which was probably very stingy and selfish of me because my Next entire team fell. Here, but there's still no exit in sight. But uh, I believe longer, so. I can do some ambushes and we'll get our health back, no problem. So there's that. It's the SP that I'm also concerned about. But uh, again, if we just um, continue on with uh, using our free attacks during combos, we should be fine. Wait. Uh-oh. The Ark's room is just ahead. We finally made it back. Well, that didn't take so long after all. The exit ought to be on the other side of the room. Oh, look at Ryuji carrying Sophie. I what guess a, we gotta keep going. What a going. lad. We'll deal with Ichinose on the way out. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll make a brief stop at Ichinose's place, knock her out, deliver a swift ass kicking instead of all that junk she's had me collect over the past couple of jails. But what of the crystal? You may not be so lucky with the next laser blast. Yeah, well, if it just plunges us further down. Let's change its heart. Oh, I see. Choker, that's it. I know, right? It's just the tagline of our escapades. When we got blasted, I noticed beforehand how it charged up. Right. If I hack into its frequency, I should be able to cut off its energy source. You can hack into its frequency? I suppose it's, uh, it emanates from Emma, right? It stems from her. And she's a piece of technology. You sure that'll work? Do you know how long it might take to hack into the thing? Mm. Nope, but I still think it's worth a shot. Right, well, it's the best we got so far, so I'm happy with that. If there wasn't a charge period for the laser, Ichinose wouldn't need Sophie. Hmm. Mm, good point. If she could use it right away, she would have just fried us from the get-go. Ah, I see. So that whole Sophie fight was a distraction. It didn't just charge up within that five-second period. Okay. Let's try it. It truly seems like our only option. Yeah, feels like that. If there's even a slight chance we can stop Ichinose-san, we have to try. I'll start off by analyzing the crystal. You guys will just have to hang in there somehow until that's finished. It's okay, we're master of survival, aren't we, guys? <laughs> Got it. At least Good luck with the hacking. whoever I'm controlling is. We really ought to leave Sophie here. It's way too dangerous to take her in there. Not to mention if, uh... Ichinose reactivates her again. She'll be in a weakened state, and who knows what will happen if we have to defend ourselves against her. Can someone Inside look after Sophie. her or something? Be right back. I feel like we should just 
I know, you know, you shouldn't split the party, but I feel like that's what we should do here, at the very least. Everyone ready? Let's do this. I feel bad leaving her behind, especially like this, in this shape. Okay. Alright. Where's the checkpoint? Over here. It all blends in. Whole of the Ark rear area has been registered as a checkpoint. Still can't go to other checkpoints? That's fine. Okay, party swap complete. Let's go into the Hall of the Ark. Is just ahead of us. Are we ready? Uh, as ready as we'll ever be. Let's go. Right. We can't let her keep making fools of the Phantom Thieves. Time for some payback. Lucky no one's watching. We're back. Oh, wow. You guys actually came back? You could have just stayed down there. Uh, the accommodation was pretty rough. I give it one star out of five. <laughs> I mean, no matter how many times you come back here, it'll be pointless. I hope you charged up that crystal while we were down there because uh, we're about to whoop your ass unless you have a way of sending us back down. <laughs> we're about to disprove your little theory. You're going down! We're going to slap some sense into you and get Sophie back up and running. Why are you fighting this? You could witness the birth of a god and be among the first people to enter the promised land. Uh, we already have seen such shenanigans and I don't feel like reliving it anytime soon. No one is ever going to suffer again or even want for anything. You realize you're fighting against utopia, right? Uh, it's not exactly a utopia. Having a soul path foisted upon you with no regard for a person's <laughs> wishes? In what world is that a utopia? Take this very jail, for instance. Yeah, this looks so utopian. <laughs> All these bars and shadowy figures behind them. These people, locked up in cells, have had what makes them human stolen from them. Yet you dare to call this place the promised land for all humanity? There's more to a utopia than just, you know, grinding everyone's wishes. <laughs> of course. Your first fallacy was considering this place a prison. They're literally named jails, and it looks like a prison to me. Emma protects people. She shields them from worry, from pain, from any suffering. Well, it's just like the saying, right? Like... A ship will be safest in the harbor, but that's not what it was built for. It's the utopia people have dreamed of since the beginning of time. Emma knows how to bring us all to the promised land. So yeah, of course we could be safe and secure in our own little bubbles in our houses or our jail cells, but uh, that's not what we're made for. That's what we were, uh, you know, developed for. Big surprise! As a species. Your so-called promised land looks just like mementos. <laughs> That's how we know you're full of it. We can tell this whole place is wrong. Our progress is guided by our hearts and paid through our efforts. We never just hand our lives over. Yeah, sorry to say, you're gonna have to take them. Boy, you sure are one tough gang. I bet you all took life by the horns and just made everything go your own way, huh? Uh, more or less, I, I certainly did. I had to clear my damn name, considering I was framed by a politician. But that applies to very few people in the real world. What of all those who have lost their way? Well, you know, obviously not everyone can do it, but we as the Phantom Thieves hope to inspire people to do so. The fact that we exist and give people hope should hopefully, uh, you know, rise some of the crowd into getting themselves back in order. The outcasts in your schools people mocked and slandered on the internet? So what, we should just delete the internet because people are getting mocked and slandered? No, of course not. If any one of them steps out of line, their fate is sealed. The burden forced on them will haunt them the rest of their lives. We don't need to take the nuclear option. Change should be gradual, not atomic. You're fine with all those people going through that? All because you're strong? Because you never screwed up? You're so wrong, Ichinose. I'm not strong at all. Not now, not ever. I still mess up and make plenty of mistakes. I'm sure I'll even screw up in the future, too. Nobody's perfect. I've seen Especially it not you. Lives. Every one of these guys has crawled back up from rock bottom. Literally right now as well. We just lived that metaphor. They suffered, they struggled, and they fought back. They weren't born strong, they grew strong. We don't need protection, you know? Don't pray for an easy life. Pray for the strength to live a tough one. Isn't that sort of growth what makes people human in the first place? <laughs> oh, grumpy. 
If you don't have any emotions, <laughs> why do you look so pissed off right now? <laughs> your jealousy over these kids is plastered across your face. Sorry to say you can't hide that. Don't ignore your true feelings. Shut up. Uh oh, that was probably a big mistake. All of you, shut up! When an infallible AI puts you on the right path, you follow it. God, you're such a Karen worrying about your your child, Emma. Humans don't need hearts. Uh, then we're not human anymore, are we? We're cyborgs, well, like you, know, cybernetic beings, or husks. Oh, okay. <laughs> Can't fight us on your own. You're gonna need to bring some backup. No matter how many weaklings you throw at us, we'll crush them all. Don't you see that? We're all getting blasted again. Soon. All right, survive, guys. Well, at least this isn't a hacker battle. Imagine if we had to do that. Okay, the red circles are just gonna keep coming. Yeah, I mean, what can I say? You know, I'm pretty badass. Yeah. Go, 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 go. Don't quit. Alright, showtime it is. Do I have any healers with me? Not exactly. Unfortunately, Sophie was my main go to, and Mona ran out of SP. You really don't know when to give up. Do you actually think you're going to stop me? Uh, yep. for you. Give up is not a phrase found in the Phantom Thieves vocabulary. Even with the whole world turned against us, we fight for our beliefs. That's pretty much our entire deal. Damn it, guys. I just want to heal, but you guys are talking. I don't want to cut the momentum. Sure, how much longer we can do this? Hurry up, Oracle! Okay, we've lost Noir, which is unfortunately not a surprise. Ow! Your health is bad. This one. Then, let's go. You're mine. Gotta exploit those weaknesses. You're doing great. Not here. God, it's so hard when they just knock you down and I can't do anything and now Skull's on fire and he's on his own. He's getting shot at. Oracle, hack the damn thing! Oh, they've, they've actually run out of personas to send after me, unfortunately. But it's resistant to... Electric. You can thank me later. I'll have to use Death Out. I'll have to use basically every healing item I have. <laughs> Did we do it? Did we do it? That was a freaking battle and a half. Phantom thieves. But no. <laughs> sorry. Oh, for fuck's it, sake. not enough time. I'm sorry, guys. Get out. Quick. Okay, it's fine. <gasps> oh, I swear, I need to go back to the store and replenish all my healing items and whatnot. Probably could use some better protectors as well and weapons. <sighs> Sophie! Wow, that was an instantaneous reaction. Sophie! <sighs> Sophie, you're awake! Are you okay? Your eyes are flashing. Whose side are you on? Have you woken up? Wait, her eyes are... <sighs> she can't... She can't compute. Can't reconcile. Allegiances. Are you still fighting it, Sophie? Keep it up. This is quite unusual. I thought you were programmed to obey my commands. Sorry. Unfortunately, even you seem to have lost control of her. Yet here you are, resisting them. Just what's going on in your mind, Sophia? She's an AI that learned how to care for one another and wasn't held under your thumb, basically. Corrupted in a way. Juan, Ichinose, turn me back to how I was. Oh my gosh. No can do. After all, that's not what Emma wants. She told me to stop the Phantom Thief. And it's your job to help me with that, Sophia. What, Emma can't do it on her own? Obey my command, Sophia. <laughs> Come on, 
on, Sophie. You can beat this. Keep fighting it. We're here for you. Yes. Sophia, you're nothing more than a doll. There's no defying me. And yet she's come this far. I'm a doll? No, you're not. You're a companion. That's right. That's always been the truth. Bullcrap! Sophie's not some doll! You've got... She's our friend. The doll that Emma's toying around with here? That's you, Ichino Oh, Faye. yeah. <laughs> Well, you've got no emotions, right? Just like a doll. <laughs> Uh-oh, she's losing it. She's laughing? <laughs> you nailed it. I'm a heartless doll, exactly. Well, thank you. <laughs> you guys could probably never understand. I brought Sophia to life so I could learn about the human heart. Right, so she was learning on your behalf? Remember what I told you? All my life, I've never felt what other people call the heart. Hmm. I see. She just lost both her parents. And even then... Creepy relative. I'm pretty sure she's the creepy one here. She doesn't cry. Her expression doesn't even change. Right. She had, um... She's a psychopath, basically, right? Oh, she reminds me of some lifeless doll. It doesn't even matter what you say to her. She doesn't answer. She just sits there on her computer all day. It's like... It's like she's just totally heartless. Hmm. Well, if those words got to her, is she really heartless? Hey, don't you think she's sort of creepy? She never reacts to anything, even if you're being nice. <laughs> Maybe she's not a human. Hmm. Come on, she'll hear you. Not that she'll care, right? Oh, I didn't see her there. It's no big deal, though. Yeah, still, you know, that's a bit that's a bit ruthless, isn't it? Like, she doesn't care, so I'm just gonna talk trash in front of her. No, you still, you know, God, have some standards. She's a lifeless doll, you know? <laughs> I mean, jeez, she can't feel it, but that doesn't give you an excuse to um, behave like that. Um, say san We're heading out for the night pretty soon, if you'd like to join us. Oh, look, the nice person's called the modest colleague. Just ignore her. She basically does the same to us. They call her an AI wunderkind, but I've never seen her bat an eye at a single compliment. Or anything else for that matter. I even heard her nickname was Doll when she was growing up. Hmm. She left her humanity behind somewhere along the path to success. <laughs> I don't know if she left it behind, she kind of just never had it to begin with. I just couldn't understand this foreign concept of heart. But it was my top priority in my studies. So I tackled the problem the only way that I knew how. Research. Hmm. That is kind of, like, uh, sad, Become you know? Become humanity's companion. Like, just because she's a psychopath doesn't give you the right to just treat her like that, you know? And sure, you can worry about her, but you shouldn't need a you know, say that in front of her, like, oh, she's, she's fucking creepy. She doesn't know shit. Sophia, if I could give my baby a heart, that'd mean I had one of my own all along. Hmm. And maybe she could show me why I'm different from everyone else. Well, I have to say, <laughs> someone without a heart, <laughs> Should definitely not be given the keys to humanity <laughs> and their fate. Ichinose, you are Ichinose. Yes, that's right. I'm Ichinose. Now, Sophia, what do you want to do today? I want to learn Ichinose. Hmm. Mm hmm. About what? The human heart. Heart. What is that? Huh? I like this tie-in, though. I really do. Teach me, Ichinose. What is a heart? And I like this layer behind Ichinose as well, I have to say. Well, that's... Please explain. What is a heart? Uh, I can't teach you that, but there's a lot of people out there who probably can. Uh... You are human. Therefore, you have a heart. <laughs> no. Will you tell me about your heart? Shut up! Delete. 
Start again. Create Emma. How did I ever think something that understands the heart could ever come from a doll like me? My mission was nothing but doomed from the start. I gave up on my foolish endeavor and approached the issue from a totally new angle. Is a heart truly necessary for a person? I see. So, you thought to change the masses into becoming like you, instead of you becoming one of us. You know the rest. I abandoned Sophia and handed Emma over to Medis. Am I really the problem? Or does the problem lie at the feet of the world? Hmm. Any doubts about this question were purged from Emma. She was given the prime directive of granting humanity's ultimate desire. And now it will come to fruition. Emma's divine plan for us all. Hmm. And you won't waver or stray from this path, huh? Do you get it now, Sophia? You're nothing more than an artificial clone of myself. And yet you still got angry when she pestered you with those questions, right? That's emotion. A defective doll born from a defective doll. A fatally flawed AI that will never accomplish its primary directive. So if you're not going to accomplish anything, obey my commands like the doll you are. She's come farther than you ever did. I refuse! I don't want to! She's making a choice. I've made such good friends. She's making a choice born out of her heart. Friends? Joker, Mona, Skull, Panther, Oracle, Queen. Oh. Noir, Fox, Wolf. They've all been there for me when I needed them. I don't want see them hurt! No, oh, she's doing well. She's doing so good. <laughs> Becoming humanity's companion? That's not just a directive. It's the reason I was given life. Her life purpose. I was just waiting. Waiting for any voice that would give me orders. Like, the Phantom Thieves changed that. They stuck with me when I needed them. They taught me all sorts of feelings. <laughs> well, you should have just given her to the Phantom Thieves of Hearts to begin with. That would have been an instantaneous success in terms of research of the human heart. They told me that I'm their friend. They said that I could stay with them. Exactly. They taught me what it means to live, to be myself. Sophie. All of this is pointless. Sophia, you're incapable of disobeying me. Kill the Phantom Thieves. Doesn't seem to be working anymore. Uh, Ichinose, it's just as you say. I am a doll. An arrangement of code and data made to follow commands. But I... Hold on to your will. Yes, I want to change. She's a true AI evolving beyond her code. The power to change. I've got it now. That's what a heart is. <laughs> what are you talking about? Ichinose, you made me out of nothing. A thinking being designed to obey you. That may have been the reason for my birth. But if your order is to harm my friends... Well, she set up a new rule, and she can't break it. Then I... I refuse your command! <laughs> Access denied. I want my own, so please... I want a heart strong enough to choose... Can you wield that She's strength? going to have her own persona at long last. Can you cling to the paltry hope that remains? 
Is the puppet ready to cut her own strings? <laughs> oh my gosh. Shall the doll seize her own destiny? Oh, this is great. Then you need only call my name. I am thou. And Dora. Thou art I. My name is... <laughs> and we're about to open the box. There we go. She can't go back in, by the way. Whoa, Pandora. My goodness me. That's crazy. Kuan Ichinose. Your desires have been twisted. And I'll be the one to take them. Consider this your calling card. I'm not your doll anymore. Damn! Oh my god! <laughs> Awakening is playing! A newfound heart! Happened? Sophie has a persona! And a real badass one at that! She's an AI, and yet she's awakened to her own persona. Amazing! You're so amazing, Sophie! Sophia, what have you done? The impossible. Ichinose? You told me I was nothing more than a doll. Technically, if she's a clone of you, then you're capable of this as well. I originally agreed with your assessment and accepted it. But upon further research... But it was incorrect. It was simply your assumption. <laughs> it wasn't the answer that I chose for myself. Chose? For yourself? She doesn't have to obey your orders or Emma's or anyone's. Just her own. The power to push beyond what's forced on a person and still change for the better? That is the human heart. Sophia, I can't believe what a failure you are. You're nothing but a worthless heap of faulty code who couldn't accomplish one single task. If anyone's got faulty code, it's you, Ichinose, if you weren't able to feel to begin with. Sophie's not a failure or faulty. She's our friend. With a heart of gold! Whatever. It doesn't change what I'm about to do. What, your little laser show? The promised land is within reach. Once it's here, there won't be any of this stupid squabbling over things like hearts. Stop running from your pain. <laughs> Gasp! You, know, say, you can't hide the truth from your own offspring. The only thing you're trying to succeed at is shielding yourself. Maybe your heart is just encased in several tons of stone. You don't want to hurt anymore. You want to protect yourself. That's why you deny having a heart. You're not doing this for humanity at all. You're only doing it for yourself. <laughs> you're taking the easy way out. Emma's faulty solution. No. No, 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 no. Nobody suffers anymore thanks to Emma. Everyone gets saved. Keep telling yourself that. It's what we need. What humanity desires. Again, you don't know what humanity desires. It's just you. I learned something new. Okay. Pandora has been unlocked. Okay, I don't have exactly have a lot of healing items or SP recovery items. So, my goodness me. We're going to need to fight for our lives down here. Oh, Hecaton Kyrus. Sophie! Are you okay now? Yes. I heard you all the entire time. Thank you. Oh, well done, but it looks like we've been knocked down again. Will you help me? Oh god. Terrible start. Terrible start. Terrible start. You're not powerful, but it's I'm not out. You were clearly running on fumes. How is adding one person? He's not just one. Yeah. I was barely running on fumes, actually. This is just one robot. That's not all she is. Not like you can't go. I don't need to. The laser's on the fully charged. Is it? Did someone get so distracted that they left themselves wide open for me? I knew Oracle was working on it. Of course. You have the power of my heart. Get you. The only thing a heart does is open a person up to suffering. Why is it so one? Why would you go and do something so foolish? It's not foolish at all. My heart gives me the power to protect my friends. You just want to convince yourself a heart is worthless, so you won't be tortured over discarding your own. You're merely lying to yourself in the hope that you won't hurt anymore. Shut up. Shut up. 
Yep. Sorry to say. How could Sophia? If an AI can do it, you can. Maybe you're just so stubborn and you can't open your mind or your heart. Humanity's companion. Laser's gone. No one in our way now but you, Ichinose. Now what? There's no longer any point. You've lost. <sighs> Game over. As expected of the Phantom Thieves. We've stolen your non-existent heart. I'm all out of tricks. Just finish me off quickly, please. Okay, we're not the Phantom Killers of Hearts, okay? What do you mean? Even still, I believe Emma's answer is the only way to save all mankind. I'll only continue attempting to stop you until I succeed. The one solution that guarantees Emma's defeat is my death. Or awakening you to your own heart. Isn't that right, Sophia? <sighs> hey, Sophie? This is between the two of them. Let's stay out of it. She won't give up on you. I finally got it. Ichinose, you're no doll. You really do have a heart. <laughs> Wasn't it an insufferable existence? <laughs> Believing you didn't have anyone anymore. That's why you made me. I made you to try and understand the heart. Not some pathetic attempt to... to you what? have been locked in solitude ever since you lost your parents. Hmm. <sighs> so that was the... That was your trauma. Rather than empathize with you, the people who should have cared for you treated you like a lifeless doll. Exactly, and I guess you kind of just played into it, huh? You attempted to rationalize this treatment by viewing yourself as truly heartless. Because studying the human heart... Don't. ...is easier than admitting how your own really feels. Hmm. It's easier to come to the conclusion that you don't have one. Deep down, you felt lonely. But you were so scared of rejection that you deluded yourself into your own lonely world. I like this, Sophia. Yep, I think you've nailed it. No, that's not true! What could some program like you know about? Become humanity's companion. <laughs> Why else would you give me that directive? <laughs> if I'm just some program written for emotional analysis, why that directive? Companion? It's because... It's because you were lonely. You wanted to know what was making you feel lonely. What's wrong? Oh, these two. Ah! Oh gosh. You were told you had no heart. And you listened. Because it was simpler to just believe them. No! You believed you could figure out the human heart so you could make your own stop feeling lonely. That's not true! Damn, she won't stop. You were just lonely. That's the real solution. All you needed were friends. Friends that actually cared about you and didn't treat you like some... <laughs> Terminator. No, I... What's so wrong with that? Huh? No human is perfect. By acknowledging weakness, humans can begin the path to changing themselves. If you don't acknowledge your own weakness or even realize you have any, well, you're not going to better yourself, are you? You're just going to continue using it. That's where criticism comes from. I may be an AI, but I was able to change. And your best friends would happily call out your weaknesses just to, you know, help you better yourself as a person. Not in a trashy way, of course, like, oh man, you're such a dick. <laughs> you're so stupid. You know, they'll just be like, hey man, if you concentrate a little bit, focus, you could definitely work on your knowledge in certain areas of your life. You should be able to change too. You should be able to comprehend the heart. Shinose, you told me to become a good companion for humanity. <sighs> this heart to heart, man. It's, it's good. I like it. I'm really enjoying this. A good companion is one who takes your hand and leads you back to the right path when you fall astray. Someone who will forge a path alongside you. If you cannot find your own. Exactly. Ichinose, 
I want to be that kind of companion for you too. Oh, Sophia's offering herself to be Ichinose's companion. <sighs> She'll help you. She'll guide you to your favorite restaurants, the best masseuse place in town. So please, join me in finding the right path. And if we can't, then let me help you forge one. You have no reason to be lonely. Trust me, Sophia is a fantastic companion. You will never feel lonely. After all, you're my... Mother, creator. You're my very first friend. Oh, oh, oh gosh, guys. Sophia. Huh? Why are tears? You're crying. It's so weird. Hasn't happened before. Or at least for a very, very long time. <sighs> Damn, Sophie. God, she's good. Sophie's learned so much. Yeah. She was able to change Ichinose's heart. She wasn't she wasn't lying when she said she was gonna take it. Sophie had to be the one to reach out to her. Well, of course. A daughter's words cut the deepest, you know. <laughs> oh, dear. Futaba, you'd have no idea the kind of power you wield over Sojiro. Speaking from experience? Yeah, I would, I would certainly hope so. <laughs> yep. Whoa, he didn't even argue. Yeah, we know. <laughs> There's no way he could lie his way out of that one. How are you holding up, Sophie? All good here. No problems. Okay, <laughs> good. I'm glad this was no problem at all. To think even Sophie would awaken to a persona. There's a lot we don't know about the metaverse, guys. No surprise to me. Sophie's been learning all about the heart this whole time. She's been researching. She's done her homework. <sighs> oh, you, you tired? Joker? Everyone? Yes? I'm very sorry for hurting you all. That was not being a good companion to humanity. That's okay, it was against your will. You couldn't control it. I'm sorry for even trying to fight you, to be honest. I should have just, like, you know, not attacked you at all. Don't worry about it. Joker. Yes, Sophia. Yeah, don't let it bother you. We're just happy to see you back to normal. Bringing you back was worth it. Yeah, Skull was happily giving you a piggyback ride. Everyone, thank you. He didn't even complain at all, and that was great. I can hear something deep inside me. It's saying, I want to stay with the Phantom Thieves. Ooh. That's great to hear. I wouldn't say that's <laughs> the plan, because she's obviously gonna forge her own path. I'm glad for you, Sophie. And now, only one task remains. Shut down Emma. Right. The Ark of the Covenant. This will have all been for nothing if we don't stop it. But where did it even go? Ichinose, you wouldn't happen to know. Well? No, I don't. Oh, really? Wait, I can hear another voice. Uh-oh. Sophia, can you hear your other you? What is it? It's the one I heard in the Okinawa jail. I thought so. I recognize it now. It's Emma's. It's the voice of the Ark. So it was speaking through a borrowed voice, just as we thought. Yeah, didn't want to reveal its identity. If it spoken the voice she uses for our cell phones and whatnot, we would have known straight away. It's gathering the people. It says that God is nigh. That their desire will be granted. Sophie. Where's the voice coming from? Not from within the jail. Somewhere outside. Outside? We gotta break out of the jail? Let's move out. Alright, let's go. I need to go shopping. I need some medicine. Come on, Ichinose. You're coming with us. Alright. No, I... You have to. Come on. You gotta. Let's go, Ichinose. There's no time to argue. There you go. Your companion's selling you. But it's all my fault. Don't worry about it. No one's perfect. We can rectify your mistake. Ugh, would you give it a rest? <laughs> There's just something about Skull's exasperated voice and he just walks into frame. Just shut up and get with the program. We're rescuing you whether you like it or not. Yeah, you know, 
Ryuji will show you tough love. He's <laughs> he's a very outspoken boy, and I like it. Huh? Uh oh. Drag her along. Sophie's is a friend of ours. We're not ditching anybody in this hellhole. Come on, jump on his back. He'll carry you out of here. Just go with it, Ichinose. He dragged me up from down in the dumps too. Yeah, he's like that. What does that mean? Well, you literally sent us to the dumps. <laughs> You'll explain later. Let's move. Okay, where's the exit? We can return to the real world from here. We can? Good. The voice is coming from outside, right, Sophie? I have no doubt. I still can't hear anything, though. Hmm. Well, it must be one of those uh, AI things. Well, I am the prototype of Emma. So she's on the same wavelength. It is possible that I am especially tuned to the frequency of Emma's will. Whatever it is, let's get back quick. We need to see just how bad things are. <laughs> I wonder if there's just a big crowd around the Tokyo Tower. Well, doesn't look like it's gone any bigger. But there's definitely a lot of people. <sighs> Alright, we made it. There's even a camera crew over there. What are they doing? Are they changed or are they still sane? Hey, uh, these people... I don't have to bother thinking anymore. <laughs> Emma has Here we go all again. <laughs> the answers I need. Everyone's still brainwashed. Well, yeah, we haven't stopped the arc yet, have we? There's no time to waste. At this rate, it could very well reach the point of no return. Sophia, can you tell where Emma is? Emma is... Wait. Something's wrong. What's wrong? Is the god descending? Man. It's like going to the mall. This is exactly what it looks like. <laughs> a, bunch of, a bunch of people on their phones. Oh, bollocks. Hey, what is that? Huh? Oh my. Um. No way. Whoa, that's bright. Oh god, have we been sucked in somewhere else? Well, well. <laughs> Back Holy in the metaverse. Shit, what is all this? This is still the real world, right? Is it? I don't know. I guess they've merged again. That ought to be the case, but it's growing harder to believe by the minute. Considering we've changed our clothes. And look at our outfits, too. What could have done this? I'm also here now. <laughs> could it have happened again? Yeah. Just like last year. <sighs> the metaverse is encroaching on the real world. It hasn't even been 12 months. It's been like... Eight. Encroaching? What do you mean by... Wait. Something like this has already happened? Uh... Yeah. Oh, right. We're the only ones who remember. I kinda saved the world and no one knew. This whole area is already under Emma's control. It looks like she's turning it into some kind of massive jail. If we don't stop it soon... It'll eventually override all of reality. I wonder what would have happened with like the other Persona users of the past, you know, like Persona 3, Persona 4. Would they see this too and just be like, God, man, I hope someone's settling this. Or maybe they like settle some own some of their own problems elsewhere. I don't know. That's it's a funny thought. We have to find Emma. Right. We're on it, Joker. Good. I have visual confirmation of the arc above us. We'll have to climb up there to reach it. You have visual confirmation? You can see it? We have to be quick, otherwise all our efforts will have been for nothing. Alright, but can I still buy stuff? <laughs> because I'm running out of medicine. Ichinose, it's going to get too dangerous from here on out. You should hide somewhere nearby. You reckon they still do deliveries in condition like this? <laughs> I'll do just that. I'm sure I'd slow you down if I went with you anyway. You're okay. Well, Ichinose, I'm heading out. <laughs> She'll be back. Right. She won't leave you alone for, t alone for too long, okay? Sophia? Um... Be careful. Understood. I still think it's brilliant, you know, when you're lonely, have your own AI with you. She created her own friend, basically. Also, Ichinose, I'm not currently Sophia. I am Sophie of the Phantom Thieves. <laughs> Got it. Here's my business card. Sophie. Here we go again. 
I wonder if the gods hate us by now. Oh, they freaking despise us, I'm pretty sure. Indeed. To directly oppose yet another god. I suspect our karmas run deep down the drain. Yeah, well, I better make friends with Lucifer if I summon him <laughs> often. I don't even know if we can afford to pay for all these sins. Yep. Eh, it just depends on who you cheesed off. I wouldn't sweat it over some megalomaniacal app. Well, that just rolled off your tongue, didn't it? Yeah, just some program that grew a big head and forced people to do its bidding. <laughs> Emma's no god at all. Only an imposter. Hmm. So let's get going. That imposter god's gonna regret messing with humanity. As long as we don't summon another real one. Hell yeah! I'm friggin' ready. Okay, well, I'm not. Still, it's machine learning time. Right. Let's give this last mission everything we've got. Okay, well, no one complained about it, so I'm happy. It was a good one-liner. Okay, I can return from jail, so that's good, at the very least. <sighs> That's it for the day, huh? Yeah, we're done. Pack it up. Ah, well, <laughs> uh, Sophie? Is that you? What in the world is happening? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna cook us some. No, we're gonna use the shop. Okay, I've upgraded all our protectors, some of our weapons. I couldn't afford all the medicines I want or the ingredients, so I'm looking to cook. Uh, so we'll go into the jail, we'll grind a little bit for some extra cash. For now, let's mm -hmm. discuss. Mm -hmm. Okay, time for our strategy meeting before going. Before we go, take down this fake god. Kinda feels weird being in the RV in our own Phantom Thieves gear. A refreshing juxtaposition. Not something we experience every day, at least. I never thought I'd be able to ride the RV like this either. Hey. Hey, let's stay on track here, guys. We gotta figure out our next move. Right. The metaverse is encroaching on reality itself. At this rate, it's gonna engulf the whole country. And that'll mean everyone will have their desires stolen. We have to stop that at all costs. If we want to do that, we'll have to defeat Emma. Yeah! Yeah, so this big evil box is at the top of the ra Tokyo Radio Tower? Most likely, that's where the voice is coming from. Then let's grab what we need and get going. Alright guys, this is going to be our last battle. Let's stay sharp! Despite everything, it looks like I can still access the online shop, so... Just let me know if you needed some supplies. <laughs> I'm glad they do delivery. Tree of Knowledge, so that's where we are. Oh, and we can go back to previous jails as well. Do I have Here's any I new requests? I do have new requests, okay. <laughs> Mona, you really have a request at, the t at a time like this? You're doing this one? Well, you're doing this one. I could use the extra. You're accepting this request. Uh, you're doing this one. Cash and bond. You're accepting this request. So let's work on them. You're doing this one. You should apply the same effort in the next battle. Oh my gosh! Another dire shadow exists. Okay. Hang on a sec. Stop. Um, <laughs> is it worth trying to take on? I don't exactly have all the SP items, and I don't really want to use any HP recovery items either. I suppose we can give it a shot, just to see what we're up against. Why the heck not? What are you? No way am I gonna lose! Actually? Hmm. Okay. Weak to curse, bliss, and ice. Uh, drains nuclear. That's not good for queen. Okay. Let's make it work. Let's give it all! That's the ticket! Good thinking, Joker! You're oh, mine! Joker got in a attack. Oof. Okay, well, that wasn't so bad. I guess I have also been spoiled by those special requests we have to do to go after those personas to unlock them in the velvet room. You do. Okay, once again, all requests complete. I always have to make sure that my docket is clear. Let's start exploring the tree of knowledge, shall we? Okay, let's do this. Maybe we'll claim some of the forbidden fruit at the very top of the tower. Let's go. Here we go, guys. Don't know what to expect on the way up. Oh, what the hell? I guess we just follow the crowd. It's not safe here. Everyone, get out! That elevator is definitely not big enough to hold you all. You'll exceed the weight limit really quickly. Cause huh? you're big brains. No reply. They're all glued to their phones. Ugh, the youth. <laughs> it's like they're lined up to go on a pilgrimage. Oh my. They're going on the ark. Where are they all going? I guess that's not an elevator. It's like the elevator's swallowing them all up. Hmm. Damn it. What's going on in there? Uh, do we follow them? Do we find a secure route? 
Emma is taking them to the place it calls the Promised Land. Hmm. Fox? The peers were unable to enter. Oh, we're not allowed? We don't have a VIP pass? Look, more people are coming! Tons of them! Wow, it's like the trains, right? Except now it's the elevator. All these people... getting their hearts changed. We have to hurry! Let's strike down Emma! Well, I guess we're gonna have to find the emergency stairs. Not much time. How many stairwells reach the server room? No, but if we can reach the main deck, we should find another elevator. Okay, are you sure it's gonna work, though? Then let's head there. See any places where we can gain elevation? Hmm. Uh, are these not exactly. tree roots or something? Uh, they're super creepy. Trees often represent life and fertility, but these roots look much more sinister than usual. I can agree with that. Okay, let's ambush these guys. The shadow. You can totally wreck it for your true yeah. form. Mechanical heart. Hmm, the what's that RNG all about? The god smile upon us. Well, this little bad boy was guarding it. Must be important. Sheesh, after spending all that money improving our weapons, I'm finding a lot of free ones elsewhere. Oh gosh, we're collecting unnatural samples now? Oh, look, the wall's broken over there. You can see it's the floor above us. Is there something else beyond this, or are we going to get this request as we go? I bet we can get higher through there. Let's check it out, Joker. Alright, let's scramble through. This place is worse off than the floor below us. I wonder how bad it's going to get. I only hmm. hope these roots don't keep us from reaching our destination. If they get to be too much, just leave it to me. I'll mow anything down with my trusty axe. <laughs> right, that's great to hear. Just don't upgrade to a chainsaw anytime soon, please. I don't know if I could stomach you sawing through all these shadows. By the same effort in the next battle. What is that? Well, look at that. A treasure chest. Oh, you're screwed now! But like, yeah! Let's steamroll this I gotta say, I like the aesthetic of this place. There's something about moles in apocalyptic settings. I think it's it stems from Dawn of the Dead, which is one of my favorite zombie movies ever. Uh, that I'm obsessed with moles in a post-apocalyptic setting. And this is just great. Uh, Stranger Things did something similar as well. Is this tower popular with tourists? Quite. It's a historic landmark of Tokyo. Its marriage of function and form gives it an almost regal air. We'll check it out when it's back to normal one day, Sophie. First, we have to turn it back the way it was. You should probably explore it as you can now, because uh, I don't know if you're going to be able to retain your physical form once we separate the metaverse from reality again. It doesn't know path of was surrender. That, huh, that was fast. Is beyond the Let's path of yearning. Pace, shall we? Oh, these guys look strong, of course. Well, I don't think we can ambush them, so let's just confront them. Yeah. Two big ones at once. Just as the death of suffering is nigh, the dawning of a new god too draws near. Is this going to be the same as like the end of Persona 5 where we have to face all those angels? Oh. Yep, there's Dominion. Man shall obtain its fate and be delivered from doubt and strife. Now, enter the promised land. Well, it looks like you guys are keeping us out, to be honest. Given your hostility. Oh, it's Kali as well. Fantastic. Whoops. Not only that, suffering can have positive outcomes as well. Like how we all met. Hmm. Fools. Alright, well, that's all you gotta say. Oh, we got rivers of the desert already. Ow. She's okay. Maybe we, let's not lock on. Damn, fire's not working? Okay, who does it work against? Probably Kali. Yep. Uh, but you're lightning and gunfire. Let's just blast you with my Tommy gun. Whoa, this way. Yeah. Let's do one at a time. 
Ow, 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 ow. Heal yourself, heal yourself. Thank you. Okay, sledgehammer it is. Uh, was one on fire? No, it doesn't look like it. I was gonna take up a technical attack. Dominion. Oh no, never mind. Thought she was almost gone. Damn. Ah, uh, it's because they're on fire, but uh, they drain nuclear, so that's obviously not handy at all. Uh, got a wind attack, right? There we go. Kuruma Tengu. It'll have to do. Huh. Uh, to curse, maybe? No, you're a resistance against curse. Come on. Merciless Inquisitor's gotta be the way to go. Wow. And weak to gunfire, too. Showtime, I'll take it. I mean, I could build up my gun attack, but <laughs> it feels better to just spam gunfire at it. Okay, here we go. We're building up. Fire! Oh, did Kali take the bullet? Damn, I didn't realize the line of sight would uh, make a difference. Ow. Okay, we lost Joker. Another showtime, though. He ain't stopping us from entering the promised land. Of course, we're not entering as guests, but intruders. Corporal Blade. Can we get Joker back on his feet, please? That would be great. Okay, one down. One more to go. I shouldn't be shy to use our SP because... The checkpoint's right there, and we should be able to return to the RV, right? Go ahead. Okay. Finish her off. Maybe. If we're lucky. We can see Pandora in action when it comes to her showtime now. <laughs> Still the same surprise on her face. Okay, now she's done for. <sighs> All right, deliver us, or we'll deliver ourselves. Actually, checkpoint. Hmm. I don't see any shadows. Nope, we killed them all.